30th November Saint Andrew Apostle Feast Born at Bethsaida he was formerly a disciple of John the Baptist and then followed Christ to whom he brought his brother Peter with Philip he introduced the gentiles to Christ and he was the apostle who pointed out the boy with the loaves and fishes tradition has it that after pentecost he preached the gospel in many different places and finally suffered death on a cross in akaya a reading from the homilies of saint john chrysostom on saint john's gospel we have found the messiah when andrew had been with jesus and had learned so much from him he did not keep this treasure to himself he made haste and ran to his brother to share with him what he had learned notice what he said to him we have found the messiah which means christ notice the way in which he shows here what he had learned in such a short space of time he shows both the power of the master in convincing them that he was the messiah and their own zeal and persistence for they had been concerned about this from the beginning andrew's words are those of one waiting for the messiah to come from heaven full of joy that he has come and hurrying to tell the great news to the others this action of sharing his spiritual gains with others was born of brotherly love family ties and genuine affection but notice also the eager and obedient spirit of peter the moment he heard the news he hurried at once to jesus with his brother he brought him to jesus says john let no one condemn peter's impetuosity in accepting the message without any security probably his brother told him everything carefully and at length moreover it is a characteristic of the evangelist to tell a great deal in few words in the interest of brevity in any case john does not say that peter believed at once but only that andrew brought him to jesus he put peter into his hands so that he could learn everything from jesus himself the other disciple was there also and was a partner to all that happened john the baptist said this is the lamb and he baptizes in the spirit and left the clarification of this teaching to be expounded by christ andrew who was not capable of giving a full explanation had all the more reason for doing as john did he brought his brother to the source of light itself in so much haste and joy that he would not brook the slightest delay